All right, hey guys, let's get uh, going here. This is a um, this is a quick Q and A call. Uh, Sarah sent me a note with uh, a ton, <laughs> well, a good handful of questions, and um, I want to address them to help people out. See if I could give some clarity to to um. Uh, some of the training, some of the, some of your questions that are coming in, and you know the the thing that I found is that confidence is a function of clarity. Courage is something that's required when there's a lot of confusion and lack of clarity, and so I always like uh, trying to create a the clearest path as possible to create confidence, and at the same time, one thing you'll know is that there's so many ways to do this business that. Like whether you're in the supplement business, whether you're in the information marketing business, whether you're in the authorship business, whether you're in the e-commerce business, today's call will be a lot about supplements because this is where a lot of the questions have come in from. However, I want to stress, I want to stress, and you're going to hear me say this a few times, supplements are just a product that you sell. So by saying, should I be in the supplement business or not, is in some ways completely limiting your thought process in what's capable of you, okay? So I want to start by reminding you of like why the supplement business is a good business, but also as we go through uh, potential budgets, cash flow opportunities there, you really need to... You, there, there's a lot of options besides diving headfirst inside the in, in getting inside the business. And so what I want to just share with you is that as we get going, I have clients that predom- like that have done this so many different ways. okay? So there's not one particular way. The, the best the best opportunity, and we'll go from like say top down. For somebody is if you have a client base that is predisposed or most likely going to buy supplements because of your education, because of your training, because of your lead generation, however you've done it, they have because maybe you already sell supplements. So my trainings, it's very easy for somebody like my supplement trainings. Not I have other stuff too with our time collapsing academy, our seminars. But as far as like the straight up um, supplement training, the six week master class, all of that stuff is so easy for somebody who is already moving in the health and fitness direction to add that on. Okay. And you want to do it to mitigate as much risk as possible, to make sure you're not making poor and foolish decisions, to get the least amount of inventory that's required. Uh, in some cases, if you're capable of growing, is there ways for you to get capital? But those, those questions get a lot easier that if you're in the first category, I just mentioned, it's very easy to do it. If you are someone who was like me, who was an entrepreneur and a certain has experienced success in a different category of business and has, um, already has some copywriting skills, some marketing skills, and understands uh, a lot of the training that I've already run. Maybe you've you've seen on any of the preview videos, the triple stack method. Um, if you already are a silver member, then you've you've gone through our six week course or gotten access to it. If you've come to a live event, all those things like then you have a very substantial now now saying I'm going to add supplements to my business or create a supplement business is just a matter of choice. Like you want to go down that road, and it's a smart one because. The other option is you become an expert. I mean, there's only so many ways to make online, and it, but at the same time, they're unlimited. And your job is to be as synergistic as possible. Okay, is that making sense? Like, I, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna sell a book, or do a uh, webinar, or do a info product like a PDF or a uh, recipe guide. Or something that somebody who is, or like if I'm in the survival market or any of these other things, um, adding a health supplement to it, 
makes it a uh, is a very easy thing to do, and it could create residual income. It can create autopilot sales. It gives you an opportunity to get multiple buyers. It could give you an opportunity to, um, you know, get somebody to buy, you know, two to three times the amount they're currently buying with you. Okay, so so those are all really really positives. Now, if you go one more layer down the the track, like so, you're not you're not already in the health market. You're not already in the fitness market. You um, uh, let's say you're a social media expert or somebody's doing that, right? So you're, you're, those are all no brainers. Yes. You should probably have a line of products around your own brand, uh, that, that fits your, that makes it very profitable to send them there. And if you're a marketer, an entrepreneur like me, you'd be one level lower as it's going to be a little more difficult because you got to learn a lot, but the, the speed at which you can get in and start making money and do it right and do it in a very, very little minimal budget has never been better. There's never been a better time. Okay. So then if you go a level below that and you don't have marketing experience, you don't know a thing about advertising and you don't know like much about copywriting then why are you thinking of going into the health supplement business? Like, what, what's your thought process there? Um, because the only reason why I would suggest that you possibly do that, if you fit everything I just said, is if you are already successful in one category of life or business, and you have capital that you want to invest and you are willing to learn. Okay. Those are all very, very important things, right? That otherwise you should, in my opinion, attend one of our seminars, go through some of our trainings, and commit to learning and becoming awesome at a skill like copywriting, like sales copy, um, marketing, or or something something along those lines, right? And so, so I would actually even say, if you fall below that category, I'll post some links below of people who I recommend you go get trained by because they do probably a better job than I do when it comes to, Ed, I'm, I have a job, I don't have any experience in marketing or sales, and I'm just getting started and I want to go into the supplement business. I don't think that's the best option for you. I think you really need to learn a skill set like media buying, sales copywriting, funnel creation. Um, and I have some ideas of people that I think you should learn from. Ryan Dice is one of them. Uh, Russell Brunson's below. He's one of them. You know, and then I have some other thoughts there too. Like if you're just starting out and you have no experience, then maybe you put your, if you want to do wholesale, if you want to go on in the supplement business, then you definitely need to put your product like on an Amazon right out of the gate and then use them in their merchant account and stuff like that. So th that's kind of the best analysis without me personally talking to you on whether or not you should be in the supplement business or not. My job is to take, is to not show people from, they have no experience, nothing, to all of a sudden growing a eight-figure business. I mean, that's just very, very hard, long learning curve, okay? However, if you fit any of those categories I mentioned prior, which is you're an expert in health, you are, you're, you're, you're looking to be an info expert, then I think you'd be great for our community and all that fun stuff. Can you start a supplement business part-time or grow to full-time and grow to full-time? Yes, you totally can do it on the side. Is it is it possible to do it on the side of a job that you're working 40 to 50 hours a week and then to come home and then learn how to do a supplement business? Um, I don't know about that. I mean, that that that's something only you can answer. If I had to start and grow it on the side right now, um, I would not be able to do it. There's no way I could do it because, and I, and I hate sounding negative, guys. I just want to give you a full perspective on it that if, um, and, you know, you got to tell me what your skill sets are, right? Like, so if you currently have, like, a business, like, say, in dental marketing like I did, uh, if you've listened to my story or whatever, and you want to move into the supplement business, yes, I did do that part-time because I hired a consultant. I hired in everything they needed, a copywriter, a uh, list expert, 
in um, funding for the post postage, I hired all that stuff. So I was able to use money as a leverage point. So if you have money, but you don't have time, then you got to use the money to get the time, right? So that's my thoughts on that. Is your training good for network marketing professionals? You know, the training's not designed for network marketing, okay? And um, it really just isn't, you know? it's But it is trained for turning customers or prospects into customers. And so... I have been a big, like every time I've even considered utilizing network marketing or, or joining a network marketing thing, which I have a couple times, admittedly, in the past, um, the, the parent company t would never allowed the uh, level of freedom to be, to, to be able to properly generate leads and sell on your own site and do those things. Um, so if you have a parent company that allows you to generate your own customers online without having to talk to people, and you can use the tools that I teach. And I mean, you could actually use the tools I teach to get people on the phone. Um, then the answer is yes, but I didn't design it for multi-level marketing. This is not designed to have to recruit people. It's not what I do. I design all my businesses to have prospects and customers coming to me and to uh, always be a paid expert or paid client before I ever really have to talk to people. And we use tools like this, like video, because I have a firm belief system, if you've watched any of my other videos, that if you can do one-on-one, -on -one, you can do one-on group. And that if people really need one-on-one, -on -one, then you just charge a lot more for that. And it's worth both your times because they're in a location in their life where they're willing to do that. So that's my thoughts on that. Would we be selling your supplement or a supplement you give us access to? Well, I don't give you access to it. I give you the resources and I refer you to like different formulators and you get to choose who sells it. So no, you would not sell our supplements. You can as an affiliate, but um, it's not, I, I didn't design this course that way. Um, so, you know, we, we, um, we have formulators and wholesale or uh, ship shipping partners that you can buy at, you know, either formulate your own thing or to private label. Um, how do I find a business partner? Should I find a business partner? I mean, this is like an ad, an old age question that is like, well, why do you want a business partner? And the only reason you should have a business partner is if that person brings something of benefit and of value that on your own, you could not either learn create or uh, leverage. Now, the other reason why you might do a partner is speed of success. So if I was, um, you know, looking for just somebody for money and that's all I want them to do, then you're not looking for a business partner. You're looking for money. And so then a business partner is just one solution of that thing where they have a funding partner. If um, you um, need a traffic partner, well, then you pay a commission. If you need somebody to build out a funnel, well, you invest in that person. So I guess my question would be, why do you need a business partner? So, for example, I invested in a company called No Foods. That's K-N-O-W-F-O-O-D-S. It's an amazing company, gluten-free, grain-free, all that fun stuff, and it tastes amazing. So conceptually, I'm partners with all those people. Okay, those are other investors, but I'm an investment partner. And so I have very limited and very, so I, I, I really have a role where I create value for them, but they're not really, it's not required of me. Okay, so I do a, um, in one of the trainings in the inner circle, like master class, I do a whole training about the good, the bad, and the ugly with partners. And, um, I mean, I'll share some of the big nuggets right here, but like one of the things is that most people tend to believe they need, since they don't have something, that they need someone to fill that gap. And um, in some cases, it's a true assessment. You know, like if you need a copywriter and you're not good at it, your options at that point are learn it or hire someone. <laughs> and... Uh, if you need a marketing partner, you can either hire marketing people or you can 
you know, create a sweat equity or some kind of relationship where they provide that. And um, I want to really caution you to go down this to not go down this this as a lead question. That if you that my best advice I can ever give any of you is to really learn the skill sets required to do this on your own and then or hire a team or find out your partner will show up as you're learning those skill sets okay and if you're like bootstrapping this or you're just doing this part-time you don't need a partner okay is your training a fit for pet business teeth whitening or any non-supplement the answer is yes you'll learn a good jillion things is but pretty much how to sell any product how to position any book or report. This is not a supplement only focused training, even though most of our customers are coming from that world because of my past success there. One thing that most people don't realize is that um, I was I was the leading marketing uh, uh, coach, I guess you can call me, in the dental profession that I entered and didn't, and we had, you know, full groups, very similar to our silver and platinum inner circles. Um, so, you know, we were telling, selling high ticket stuff left and right, and we had members and we did all these things. So uh, I've written a book, we have more books coming out, we're selling our, um, uh, yeah, I mean, the answer is that yes. And I've sold one of my businesses in the dental profession. So, you know, I mean, this works for everything. And you'll notice that I, um, Besides my specific supplement training, everything the how and how we teach, we'll give examples and case studies, but you got to remember I'm running a couple different businesses, one in the supplement business, one in the uh, info business, and marketing coaching business. So we're testing different stuff all the time. So yes, it works. Uh, be careful with the teeth whitening though, just so you're aware of it. Be careful because um, unless you're going to uniquely position yourself different, um, teeth whitening, um, has a unique, like they used to use it a lot in their, the free trial market. So there's a lot of bad press on teeth whitening. How much money do you need to start? Okay. So this is the, probably the most amount. I get this question all the time. Um, well, it depends on how you want to go about it, right? So some of these questions are kind of silly and I, I don't mean to be a jerk because I'm not at all, but like, what does a website cost? What does hosting cost? Um, or a website I don't, name? I mean, like, so you get look at ten bucks. Hosting is I don't even know what hosting is. What is it? Nineteen bucks a month or a hundred bucks a year? I don't know. Like, I would go to GoDaddy.com and look that up. Um, as far as ClickFunnels, like, because ClickFunnels is the main place that I I I move people to regarding lead pages. Call Center. Um, our call center is really paid on. Um, a uh, per minute uh, fee, and we usually pay. I think I think our our rate is seventy six cents of uh, um, a minute that we pay them. But about thirty percent of our calls go through a call center. So that is a there. The ones I use is a customer service based call center uh, that really sells a lot of product. So um, a funnel. Now these are all fair questions. So. Mind you, I'm not, I'm not giving you a hard time. I'm just kind of... So I would lay out, I'd say funnel, you know, like it's going to cost you... Um, probably a, a good funnel is going to cost you 750 bucks to 3000 bucks to get there. Okay. Now, let me back up a step. That's assuming you're... you're, you're uh, that's totally not true. That's assuming a couple things. Like, so for example, like our click funnel funnels that we use... I mean, I think I pay 100 bucks a month, 200 bucks a month, and if you saw the, like the sales letter that for our for our um, uh, for our uh, super conference coming up, um, it, I mean, I wrote that whole sales letter. I actually edited it in ClickFunnels, right? And then I had um, a, someone on my team just who understands ClickFunnels better, just uh, integrate the upsells with the shopping cart. So. Um, ClickFunnels has been a lifesaver to squelch a lot of these expensive costs, okay? So my team's in a transition from on the supplement side of moving away from custom building all our funnels to utilizing ClickFunnels to do that, right? So you, 
but you got to look at, so let's say you went with ClickFunnels. Let's say you used um, a um, CRM like Clavio or uh, Infusionsoft. I don't know what those are off the top of my head, but probably a couple hundred bucks a month, okay? And then hosting and all that stuff, not sure. Do you need a website? Well, you could actually just build um, a couple pages off of your... Um, I would say yes, you need a website nowadays, but you don't need to build out a full blown ten to twelve thousand dollar website. I mean, you could use a ClickFunnels page. Like, go to timecollapsing.com and uh, just check out how, like, how, how, what do you call it? Down and dirty, we're doing it. I mean, that's my sales letter, but then we hold our event sales letter on one of the other pages. And um, if we do lead generation pages, I just build them and we build them in ClickFunnels and point them to a page on it. So I think you can build a nice like, you know, uh, one to four page uh, website, be up and running, be live and start selling. The other thing that's really, really important is that you could start like with merchant accounts because I know it's a question people ask me. Um, with merchant accounts, you could post your products on Facebook or I mean on uh if you want to be really down and dirty, you know, get your products, put them up on Amazon, um, generate leads with a one-page opt-in, and then um, utilize your budget to test some proof of concept with um, uh, Facebook ads. And now you're in business, you're moving, you're grooving, you're learning. Um, it's amazing, right? Now, uh, so that's that thought. Uh, now, you can't do upsells uh, in a funnel if you're hosted up on uh, uh, Amazon, just so you know. It's a different, little bit different strategy. The other thing to look at for shopping cart-wise is I would recommend Shopify. So go ahead and look at that. I don't know what the rates are off the top of my head, um, but that's where I would look. Uh, maybe I'll have Sarah on my team collect some of these things together. And then... Um, so as you get started, your minimal cost can be the ones I kind of mentioned, right? Um, and then you got copywriting. So copywriting is a cost that I either learn copywriting or I become a copywriter. And then I got to make the decision, like, do we do video? And then am I, am I the one doing the video? Like, so video Facebook ads, smartest way to, to get good leads to your opt-in page or your Shopify store. Or your sales page. You don't even have to use Shopify. You can use ClickFunnels if you want. And, you know, I mean, I use my iPhone to create the majority of our videos. But let's, you know, and then you could test. You can learn a little bit about Facebook ads. Get some leads. Boom. You're in business. Um, you can go a little more. You can go a little more uh, uh, up a level. Which means you're probably going to pay twenty five hundred to ten thousand bucks for a copywriter. I would not pay ten grand for a copywriter unless they are literally guaranteeing my success. As long as I'm sending traffic, they're going to keep optimizing it until we're successful. Okay, so those are some options. Me personally, if I was starting off today, I wouldn't hire a copywriter. I'd do it myself. Okay, that's where a lot of our trainings come into play for you. That's where our uh, bi bi monthly calls. I, I review and give advice to people on their sales copy. So that's one of the things that is a huge benefit in the group. Um, and then there's different models. Which, um, if you saw that triple stack method video, like you have book funnels, you have opt in page funnels, you have uh, straight to VSL funnels, and um, and webinar funnels. And there's more than that. Like you can start a fan page for no cost at all. Use Facebook ads to build a fan page and then start utilizing the fan page to drive some sales over, okay? It all depends on the speed and how much money you want to make and need to make to, to go into this effort full time. How much inventory do I need? You know, you don't need a lot, but the thing is, is like when you deal with custom formulators, they're going to force you to buy like 2,500 bottles, uh, multiply that by five to six bucks a bottle, and next thing you know, you can start doing the math. That's where it can get really, really expensive. That's why a lot of people like going to uh, private label companies, right? So if you're getting all your own product through a custom formulator, the downside is that you got to wait 90 days before you're live. With a private label company, you could be live within 21 to 30 days, okay? 
And in the waiting time, we can get you a fan page, get you a lead generation page, get you um, get you moving on those sales assets. You know, that's kind of the goal, right? So um, some of the print-on-demand companies now are are asking clients to buy like 300 of each just so that you can then ship out of your own house or office. Um, it's their way of covering themselves instead of like having an on-demand client. Um, it's just, you know, could, it, it, it's the same work for a, a fulfillment company to do, to do 300 bottles as it is to do 30,000, you know. So they try and get you to at least do some of them. Can you review my sales letter, website, email, etc.? Yes, I do. And during our inner circle calls, we do two of them um, every month, and that's where I review them. Uh, as you can imagine, you know, I have seven kids. I have a couple companies. I'm an investor in the one company. We're running a seminar here shortly. We're running events every month. Uh, my schedule is busy, like really, really busy. I get a lot of um, darts coming at me, and um, and I and I appreciate all of it. By the way, like I love what we do. We're very blessed. I love working with my clients. Very blessed to have the clients that I have. I love working with our supplement uh, customers. They're they're fantastic. Um, so we do the live trainings. It gives me an opportunity to review stuff, and we rock and roll that out. So I'm happy to. Uh, there is a fee. It's called the membership. <laughs> and, um, um, you know, I'm pretty passionate about it, the membership, and we put a lot of effort into that. So... Um, there's a couple questions on cost and recouping the cost, so I'll talk about them in a moment. I won't cover them here. What ongoing monthly costs are for your supplement business? Average monthly ad spend. Well, you know, like in a recent ad, in a recent case study, I show like how I started the entire coaching business that now does over six figures a month for two thousand bucks ad spend in April. Uh, no, 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 four thousand ad spend, but you don't have to be as aggressive as I am. The ad spend and the ongoing costs is you have some of your CRM stuff, you have your like your 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 email management, you have your hosting, um, and then depending on any other service providers you might be using like ClickFunnels, you have those. Okay, those are ongoing monthly things. If you hire an employee, guess what? You have those. Um, so your ad spend, your goal is to get your conversion rate working so that your ad spend becomes your biggest leverage point. Okay, so to look at ad spend as a as a fixed or like average, I think you're thinking inaccurately, and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. What I want you to think about is a fulcrum. So your your ad spend will be low the month one, and then our goal is to get it up to like you know double it in month two, and then possibly double it again in month three, and then possibly double again in month four. Now there's going to be tweaking, optimization, but if you look at how I teach it, you're not just building a business, you're, you're acquiring customers. And with those customers, our goal is to get them, is to build, is to build a ecosystem around the customer so that they want to buy multiple products, which is what I show you how to do. Okay. So hopefully I answered this well. Um, but my, but you know, you, it's an investment to be in business and it's an investment to be in the membership. And if you're in membership and you can get live, then every month, my belief system is for $3.97 a month or if you go platinum, which is either $30,000 a year or uh, $25,000 up front uh, to be in that group. I'm not selling that group. Like, I'm not pushing you into that. For most of you, it's not a fit. Um, for some of you, it might be. Um, but... Uh, what was I saying? Was I saying? Oh, the, the goal of the membership, because I'm not doing Q&As to just do Q&As. We're doing Q&As to really answer the question of like, what business should you be in and can I help you? Because I know I can. And the thing is about it is that um, the goal is to make your fixed costs less, like percentagely less as your revenue and net profit grow. So hopefully that makes sense. Who do you use for making funnels, web hosting, fulfillment, call center? Um, that's really something I don't share too much in public because um, I share it to the inner circle. And so, again, not to be um, – I, I shared with making funnels. I have a programmer that we use um, for some of our funnels. And then some of our funnels, we just use ClickFunnels. 
you know, it's a little learning curve. Uh, but if you have somebody that's decently uh, handy or you want to post like on, I don't think you'd find them on Fiverr, but you could get some, you could post, like I would just post on Facebook, hey, I'm looking for a good programmer who understands or someone who understands ClickFunnels to help put my funnel together. Um, you're going to find them. And then we have resources like that that we give to our Inner Circle members. Fulfillment, um, you know, there's a couple different options you can go. I mean, you can go with one of our uh, private label companies. They fulfill for us, uh, and they could do it for you. And then, um, or you just ship all your products to a different place, and they they do that. And etc. I don't know what etc. means. But, you know, once you're in the business and you're in, like, you have to, I mean, I hate to be, like, uh, selling why you need to be involved with like our events and stuff like that is because our vendors go to these events. This is where you meet them. You meet people who are doing the same stuff with you. They're just going to be further along the road. Well, you ask them the questions like, well, who do you use for this? Who do you use for that? And all of a sudden you're, you're like, if you ever watched my video called the power of five, your up leveled relationship, um, status, like meaning the people you encircle your life with, um, helps fill in a lot of voids. So I do refer people. I do have a list of vendors that we use. Um, but I, part of my membership of being a part of the inner circle is that's where you get a lot of access. Does drop shipping work for your model? Yes, absolutely. We drop ship. Uh, we use Amazon's drop ship. We use our own drop ship and, uh, works beautifully. How many months will it take to start making a profit? I think I kind of, and cover membership. I had two different questions. I think I kind of answered that whereas, you know, you, I always teach the focal point in your business is your ability to take a lead or a visitor and convert them. And if you can really dial that in, you can really make some dramatic uh, impact in your speed of profitability. Um if you had already like, you remember in the beginning when I talked about the pyramids, like if you're at the top of the pyramid of, Hey, I'm, I have, a, I have, uh, I have, uh, leads customers already. I mean, you're going to be profitable, like literally, literally the moment you get product to sell them. I mean, you are now, if you don't have that, then you got to generate leads and then we're selling the product. Okay. So then how fast then my question would be, how fast can you build that process? And start testing it like on Facebook or through email drops, right? And we focus so much more on Facebook now and YouTube and Google. But mostly on Facebook because it's a very intuitive um, targeting platform. And it just really is. It's amazing. Um, to cover membership. So we charge 397 bucks a month. Every month I give a, a pretty much the closest thing I could say as to a turnkey, uh, you know, a turnkey marketing uh, system, whether it's a four piece email system, which I give a lot of those because those work like magic, um, or an opt-in page or some, something that we're using to make money with, um, or a book funnel, you know, like any of those things. I mean, if you model that, if you're going to have a higher probability than, um, doing it on your own. And like I said, like if you're going to do hire a copywriter, you're spending 2,500 to 10,000 bucks. So 397 bucks a month to get copy done for you is pretty pretty crazy amazing how to get a merchant account and scale quickly without a lot of cash in the bank um i mean here's the thing like i saw a couple questions coming out about merchant accounts number one you can go to amazon and just use their thing to get in the game and start playing around okay so i really recommend that if you really are going to utilize the membership to learn right um but we have merchant account resources. I someone mentioned like in their email, like, hey, they said it's going to cost twenty five k to fifty k to get a merchant account. Uh, your merchant account should be free. I mean, I don't know who you're working with, but that's just not how things work. Like, we have resources that will give you that. You know, we have a couple. We don't use just one. Um, how to get a merchant account and scale really quickly without a lot of cash in the bank? Well, you know, I, I think one misconception a lot of guys have is like, I, I need to scale this really quickly. What I found is that people who push, including myself, whenever I push the envelope too fast, I might have a top line revenue that's high, but my net profit may be lower. Okay. So just keep in mind, I mean, one of the jobs of my, as me as your coach is to make sure you're thinking accurately. Um, because I care about, I mean, I care about you. I really, 
Um, we had a client just this past week who was looking at doing direct mail and looking at doing it newspaper ads and then also doing it online. And I, I, he was a Silver Inner Circle member and he, he was on the, the week, the, the bi week, the bi monthly call. And I finally just sent him a note after he asked all these questions. I was like, I need to talk to you because I, I, I got to understand what your thinking is. And I honestly believe I saved him, um, because he he was he was he had all the best of intentions and actually his strategies were not wrong, his but they would have sucked up his cash flow extraordinarily quickly even if it was successful, and I I could probably do a different video on cash flow and the supplement business and how, why how you gotta think, but guys one thing I'm gonna always tell you is like you gotta you gotta focus on only a few important points one is your conversion rate your average ticket, and then the ecosystem of your customer. And I haven't used this languaging in the past, like ecosystem of your customer, but we're using it more now because, like, now I think about customers not as transactions. We're like, oh, great, we had an average, we got new sales. But, like, what is the psychological ecosystem, behavioral uh, uh, points of this guy, and des future desires? And if we can like get them to share it with us, oh my God, you can sell them like 10 products and they're going to love you because you've really deep dived, okay? So what is the fastest way to make money in the business today right now? I think I've answered a lot of this, but what I, one thing I want to say to you as we wrap up is just um, there's so many ways to do it that, you know, if you had clients, I'd say stop what you're doing right now listening to this or right when you get off it and send out a four um, um I had to pause it for like one quick second sorry guys here let's see let's get back here okay so um hey uh, so the quickest way I mean like if you have a current customer base um, you know without even adding like new products just go ahead and like create a four four piece mail four piece email campaign even though I usually use seven and I have a different, there's a different way to do this. You, when, once people start opening your emails and they're interested in the campaign, you, you create another trigger that mails them, uh, AM and PM and then have a deadline. You can do that in any business right now. And I guarantee that if you have customers and the offer is good, you're going to make two to three times, four times, 10 times what, um, what, uh, uh, you're currently doing with that customer base and it would or it would be you know I guarantee you're gonna make more money than what it would cost you to be a silver inner circle member and that's just one way the second thing that's really smart is like look at your order form if you're already in business look at your order form add a product there either a upsell of videos on day zero like so like day zero means they're buying right now they buy your product say hey would you like to have an exclusive fill in the blank and see if you can get another $37, $44, or $97 bucks for creating value for these people. Um, number number two or three, look at your upsell sequences. Test a higher price point. See what happens. Same product, higher price point. The only thing that's going to happen is you're going to either get validated that your current offer is doing perfectly well, or you're going to make more money. And this, these are just like three of things. Um, you want to get a quick, you, I have our neighbor kids yelling. I'm outside recording this, by the way. You want to get a quick bump, uh, or you want to get live really, really quickly. Oh my God. And I can't believe I didn't believe this. Go to many chat, M A N Y C H A T.com. Instead of getting click funnels or doing all these other things, put your product on Amazon, create a lead generation ad, go to many chat. Generate traffic to that many chat thing. It takes it literally take took me 15 minutes to learn, and we did a ton of sales in my coaching business using many chat. Right? Um, what else do I want to show you? I mean, these are these are just some of the strategies and secrets. Um, start. You know, um, ask yourself who do you want to um, when you look at your market, who do you want to serve, and then and then um, find out what the number one pain that has a high level of pain where the person's in it daily, 
This could be psychological pain. This could be physical pain um, or digestive like issues. Like someone may find like it might be a period of like, you know, say they, they go through it and they're going to need to buy a product that you, you have. But it's got to have a quick, uh, quick uh, when they're in it and they see an opportunity, they're willing to invest money to do it. Okay. So those are like, I think I just gave you five or six good ideas. Hopefully they're good. I mean, if you still have more questions, post it in Time Collapsing Academy. I go in there, I think once a week, I'll check out. If you want personalized attention and into, like and to be part of our inner circle group, then go to Silver Inner Circle. Like, or no, no, I mean, we'll register for the Silver Inner Circle and become a member. I mean, you're gonna get the six week training course. You're gonna get access to a ton of bonuses. And then you get a chance to be with me once or twice a month live over the internet. Um, and uh, we send out a newsletter and make money now campaign. We have all these things that we do for you. And then if you feel like you're you're like ready for more than that, you want you think you might qualify for platinum, um, let us know. I mean, we'll we'll jump on a call with you and see where you're at and see if it's a good opportunity for both of us. I only work with people who um are looking to make multiple seven figures to eight figures and are really forward thinking, extraordinarily positive and really want to uh, do something that they're really proud of and uh, and make a ton of money while doing it. So, all right, well, that's it, guys. Have an awesome, awesome time. Um, and I hope this video was really helpful for you and we'll talk soon. Thanks, bye.